There is no doubt that Africa is changing for the better. The perceptions of Africa are also changing for the better. There is a new sense of hope and confidence and optimism and an expectation that is based on evidence, not dreams. Above all, on my frequent visits to Africa, I can see there is a new generation of leaders in politics, in business and civic society, who don't simply have a new competence about how they approach their tasks, but a new attitude, a new frame of thinking, a new way of looking at their own situation. Governance today is not only about transparency, that is, honest government, important though that is. It is also about efficacy, about effective government. That's why I founded the Africa Governance Initiative, precisely to help governments create the mechanisms that can allow them to deliver on sharply identified and focused priorities. As I discovered myself, the hard part is not having the vision, but making the reality. There are real issues here for concern, but there is also a big opportunity. The fact is, China has both the capital and the capacity to get things done. This is especially true in infrastructure. How many times do you see in Africa a road promised for years that is now finally being built? And I'm afraid we in the West, at the same time as we make legitimate points about the methods of investment sometimes used, we have to face up to the uncomfortable truth that this didn't happen with us. So we should look to engage China, along with the host nations, in trying to work together to make the most of our combined efforts. And this will mean changes for both of us, for the Chinese and their position towards us, and us towards them. We should aim to be development partners and not rivals. Investment done in the right way holds the key to Africa's future. So I don't underestimate or hide from the immense challenges that remain in Africa. But I do say that the rising stars of the 21st century can indeed be African nations. It's taken a long time, too long. But go to Africa and see it happening. It's worth it for Africa and also for us. Thank you.